long months of renovating our little tiny house, we are finally able to move in. We've been bringing stuff over all week and not only are we navigating, downsizing and probably having to toss a lot of things and give a lot of things away, but we are also expecting a hurricane this week. Yeah, so it is just like something that we get ourselves into for there to be a Category 5 hurricane right off our coast, so. Yeah, and it was expected <sighs> to go right through the center of Florida as a Category 2, and now it looks like it's going to barely touch the coast, which is great for us. We've been praying. It's kind of, it was weird to think all of these months compiled into one day of like finally getting in it. And so realizing how much work we had to do and how much sacrifice and time, energy, money, all the other people that helped us, Sarah can finally do her thing after I did a lot of the early heavy labor. Now it's just, she's made it into a home. together or haven't been able to work together in some cases we've gotten better about communication so catching arguments and fights before they happen yeah. that's been kind of neat first year of marriage you're learning how to communicate anyway and learning that you're like not just one opinion anymore it's two opinions and mm -hmm. two ways of doing things and we're very different in the way that we plan oh, yeah. so just doing a project where you have to constantly be communicating and planning um, really made us learn very quickly how mm -hmm. to make decisions together yeah do you want to talk about it? no I don't I don't want to talk about it can you go outside and go away for a little while? sure thanks Go away. But he's fine starting three or four different things and finishing them as he goes, whereas I would rather start one thing, finish one thing, and then move on. So we've had a little bit of a interesting morning. Like this is the most mamby pamby built thing. I like it. And if you don't get it right, just lay your flies in my arms tonight. People don't write poetry about a perfect life. There's something beautiful about you and I. And we're both very in individualistic, so it's very easy to get tra like stuck in our single track mind and not let somebody else help you make decisions. So it's been neat learning that because I don't have to make every decision. So. It's been nice to delegate some things to her, and then because I did that, she saw that I was trying, and then she delegated some things to me. Not in decorating, let's not get crazy, but in some <laughs> of the other stuff, which has been cool. So, we're growing, and uh, just like this incredible project that's still not quite done. Like, we're, we're still going to do some stuff the outside and stuff, but it, uh, yeah. our marriage is like that. We're just going to be working on it for a long time. Man, what a journey. Alright friends, today we are moving in everything that's going in the kitchen. We're trying to do this as systematically as possible so that we don't have a ton of boxes and get overwhelmed because I'm sure we're going to have to downsize another time once we get everything in here. So Charlie is wrapping up some painting. We got our curtains in. He did that this morning. 
we brought over our kitchen boxes. The fridge is almost done with its little makeover. I did chalk paint on it, and then Charlie's making some handles for it, so it needs one more coat, and then that will be ready. And we've got our kitchen boxes ready to go. I will probably do a little bit of a decor haul in a minute because I know that that's always exciting with moving in is the decor. We've got our fresh eggs from the chickens and I have been lining and washing out the cabinets, getting everything ready. I found this very cute blue vintage floral um, cabinet liners and I put that in the cabinets. I think it goes along with our blue theme in the kitchen. That is from the Pioneer Woman. And the blue theme kind of started because of these vintage vases that were my grandmother's and her old cookbooks. So that and some of the dishes that I have from her. And I just really like blue, like the blue moroccan -y theme. So I got a couple more things from the Pioneer Woman. These little canisters that are going to hold our tea and our coffee. I got our little French press, some storage baskets. I think this is going to be like our little pantry area and we're going to have everything in our mason jars. Um, I got the oil and soap little holders from the Pioneer Woman. And then up here, I'm going to use these jars for our smoothie additives like our kale powder, dragon fruit powder, golden milk, cinnamon, and I need to get a few more of those jars for the bottom. And then I did run out of the blue print, so I found this cute white floral print from Pioneer Woman as well. The blue, I guess, is very popular, so there were no more, so I've been lining the rest of the cabinets with that. And we do have quite a bit of cabinet space, so I don't think that that's gonna be an issue in the kitchen plenty of cabinet space. So I'm about to start putting that decor up on our shelf up here and just unpacking some of the kitchen stuff. This is a set from the Pioneer Woman that has a ton of stuff for anybody who is just starting out. Just all of the mixing stuff, a little cutting board, some knives. And that's pretty much it for the kitchen decor. Um, a friend of ours made this very cute embroidery hoop art that's gonna go in that little square area up there. So we've got that. Just got some little holders for our um, eggs when we get them in the morning. Um, yeah, so we'll go through some more of the decor <laughs> in a little bit. This is a fridge liner from Pioneer Woman, and I showed you guys earlier the um, cabinet liners that I got. So today I found this fridge liner, and our fridge is a residential fridge that we got gifted to us, and I've got it all cleaned. I did a complete makeover with chalk paint, but the inside, um, some of the glass was a little bit, you know, aged. So this will be really cool to make the inside look really nice. I also got um, the theme of our kitchen is this antique looking blue and the Pioneer Woman has a heritage floral collection which matches that perfectly. So I got her little mitten set and then the bowls that match as well. So as much as we can we're doing this blue floral pattern. I got the little hand towels that go with that. Oh, this is just a shower curtain liner and some command hanging hooks so that's not very exciting. We'll move on from that. But this is from Target. I got our shower curtain and this is actually one of the ones that was on sale. It was on a really good sale. I think it was like $29 originally and it was 15% off so it has like the little fringe on the bottom just white. I got some little cleaning stuff and then the hooks to hang the shower curtain. So not too exciting from Target, but the um, plates and a cutting board and all that stuff from the Magnolia Hearth and Home line I got from Target. 
not hearth and home hearth and hand with magnolia so that's what i ordered online and then i got one of her candles in the store this is fireside it smells amazing and then i also got from target this is a little bit heavy but it was on a really good sale it's like a little tray and it has marble real marble on the inside which i think fits with our vintage theme because that was like the big thing was marble tables back in the day and then the leather matches with our little poof ottoman i got i ordered this on etsy and i did not know that it didn't have an insert so now i have to order an insert so that should be on its way but i love the leather look um, i think that that moroccan -y theme is kind of moroccan -y vintage it's kind of my my theme of the living room if i were to have a theme this is just a little chicken wire basket that we're going to be able to collect our eggs in in the morning because we have chickens outside. TJ Maxx. I got a little um, essential oil diffuser and I liked that it was so small because I'm going to put it in that little marble tray I showed you. Let's see what else we got. I got this at TJ Maxx and this is actually um, the Magnolia Home line. So this is the one that she doesn't do with Target. It's her own line. So I got a little tray and then this wire basket is also Magnolia Home. And I'm going to put a blanket in there. Ow, my hair. <laughs> that hurt. Let's see, I got these plant stands from TJ Maxx. Um, Tuesday morning. I got this cute little rug for in front of the shower. It's just gray. I think it was like $7, so perfect. I also got two different sizes of fridge organizers from Tuesday morning. Something else in here. Oh, um, just some cleaning brushes. I got a dish drying rack because we will be washing all of our dishes by hand here in the RV. So that will be handy. I also got this basket. It's pretty big and that's gonna be our laundry basket. And I also got from Tuesday morning, our trash can. It's perfectly underneath the sink and I love the way that it looks like a like outside trash can. So that's fun. Oh, what else did I get? I feel like I'm making a big mess right now. Um, Urban Outfitters is where I got our mirror from, so I will open this up. It might take me a minute. Can you make sure? Yeah, all right, we're interrupting. That's okay. This rug is also from Tuesday morning, and it's going to go in the kitchen. This was a $3 rug, so we were happy to find that. Um, I got this from Target in the dollar section. It was $5. It's like a little magazine holder. Um, and then this was from TJ Maxx, a little hanging plant holder. And the last little bit is Lauren Conrad. I got this from Kohl's, a little hanging thing. And our bedding. I got our sheets from Lauren Conrad. Our curtains are also hers um i'll show you those in a minute and then just some pillowcases that are really good for allergies and keeping bugs away that's going to be important in the rv right now i'm just wanting to kind of get everything out and see what i have and see what we're still going to need because since this is our first house there's going to be some things that we need to get and i'm realizing that i have a ton of like pretty teacups and china and really pretty uh, rainbow champagne glasses and all this fun stuff but i think i'm gonna need to get a set of stoneware dinner plates and stoneware salad like cereal bowls because we're not gonna have anything like that and that's definitely gonna be something we need i'm doing the KonMari method of folding and with doing that i was able to fit so much in my three drawers and in my hanging area that I really don't have any extra clothes except for this little stack of t-shirts and my winter clothes that I'm going to be putting in the under bed storage and I'll do a 
video later on on the full organization where we've put everything in the RV for those of you who are curious, but it really wasn't too bad with clothes. Charlie, on the other hand, I think it's gonna have to do a little bit more downsizing. at night on Monday Labor Day just about to move all the cold stuff into the fridge looks really good Charlie put the handles on today I'm gonna be able to write on it because it's chalkboard and we are about to start unpacking some more boxes this is pretty much all bedroom stuff I got most of the kitchen done so I've got a lot of our dishes in there. I've got quite a bit going on right now. So hopefully we can get a lot done and get everything ready to go before we start feeling some of the hurricane tomorrow. Sarah and I have been loading and unloading. She's been organizing and I've been a little lazy. I got pretty tired today and honestly a little overwhelmed been going non-stop so I'm ready for it to be done and honestly I really don't know where she wants stuff so it's kind of working out for me so we're able to watch some watch some nature documentaries oh and I'm a little unkept so we're nearly there but I look real pale in that light Hey, baby. Yeah. Hey. Thank you. Welcome. It's our first night in the RV. We are about to pray a little bit. And tomorrow we're going to write some scriptures up on one of the walls. We got quite a bit done for our first night. Tomorrow we'll unpack a lot of the clothes and keep working on the living room area. Charlie took the first shower. How was the shower, hun? It was awesome. Good? Yeah. All right. Go up and see the stars. <laughs> Bye, chickens. Thanks, chickens.